Bowser, you say? There he is. There's the star of the show. Why, Bowser? <gasps> there he is. Hi, bud. Thanks, Tarks. Thanks for, uh... Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for getting excited. I'm, I'm also excited for... For pause. Um... I've promoted in one one Discord server so far. Hey, Ed. Thank you. Uh, we're still waiting on Ryan. We're not sure where he is, but we also figured it's usually takes me twenty something minutes to get ready, anyways. So can't fake him out like that. Yeah. I wasn't trying to fake him out. He goes they're all happy and don't give him a treat. <laughs> gentle, gentle. Good oh boy. That was a big honking piece of chicken. That was a big, yeah. That's from Ed. So, so tasty. <laughs> you don't have more food in that hand. <laughs> <laughs> I have to move this uh, camera uh, Friday night. Best mm -hmm. stream boy. Hey man, how's it going? <clears throat> Oh, it's Ryan. Is it? Yeah, I, Ryan joined. I can't see the Discord uh, call, so. <laughs> yes, hello. Hi, Ryan. Hey. Ryan, hey. Here, here, Happy here birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday, right? You. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> the, the amount of time it took you. It's so it's like, oh wait, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, gonna, Ryan. I was going to tease it, but you just jumped right on in with it. <laughs> Sorry. It was a surprise birthday. Surprise! Um, Yay! Uh, For I, your birthday, where would you like to go? Which oh, planet? Shit. I should <laughs> land back down and we should plot out a course. <laughs> yeah. um, landing I wanted... Because last time we ended off and they're all like, oh, blah, 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 this failed. Let's go to the interloper, um, the comet. So I want to go to the interloper. I want to figure it out. Okay. Hell yeah. Interloper. In ours Pokemon stream, he mentioned Bowser was chunky. His chat blamed the chat of this stream for that. <laughs> <laughs> Not like we gorge him on food. No, he, he's he's a hefty boy. He's about a... So he's been... For his entire life, he's basically been... Um, just on the uh, on the verge of overweight. He has not quite been there. He is 41 pounds. You typically want the Corgi to be like 39. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Well, he's so, so cute. He's so I cute. Mean, <laughs> his hair probably makes up like five pounds right there. You're supposed to kind of see a little like inward curve of the hips. He you, he's he's a little bit more like a Twinkie. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> Ryan, what have you been up to on your birthday uh, uh, so I was like, yeah, I don't know how much I want to talk well, about I your, like your dog's curved pizza. hips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, order oh, pizza. Hell yeah. Relaxed. It's coming Happy right at time. us. It's coming right at us! Relax. No! <laughs> no! No! Let's let's just punt it. <laughs> punt <laughs> the, the autopilot and <laughs> I do remember that this was not easy to get on. Autopilot, um, you sly devil. It's easy to get on, it's hard to get to a place where I can't lose my ship. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh you and your precious ship. Just jettison it. You could just meditate. <laughs> I really could. You're right, Jesse. And when you're right, you're right. There we go. Like I wish I, I had. I wish I had like a tether. <laughs> All right. What are, we, what are we doing here again? Look quick. Let's let's check. Yeah, let's, see. let's look at the info. The instructions. Okay. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. They descended inside to investigate. And then... Um, sunward side, eh? Sunward side, eh? And then check the rumor Yeah, mode. so let's go there. So there's there's no other question marks. So 
theoretically you should have everything you need um, okay. aside from some uh, I'll say this is not much of a spoiler but you've gotten just about all of the like surface level info in the game and most of the other stuff is going to require some like critical thinking and like connecting the dots kind of kind of stuff okay, okay. Um, I will so, think critically. <laughs> I just I'll say happy here. birthday. <laughs> Here's your SAT. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, guys, do you think it's? Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Kit. Oh Kit uh, gifted five subs. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Happy Earth Day. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Thank you. We'll get that a couple times. <laughs> Thank, ah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, Kit, that's great. I'm excited. Boy, am I excited for uh, Pause. Thank you. Uh, Kit, I'll tell you, you, you unlocked something already for Pause by doing that. Uh, we'll get... I will tell you for the Mario Party when we get a little closer. <laughs> <laughs> Not really unlocked. You have an ability to do something. Thank you. All right, I'm just going on the sun side here. Yeah, I think we didn't we skate around in here. Yeah. Yeah, we we definitely spent some time here. I was getting a little worried because my Thank the you. game was stuttering a little bit. Oh yeah, I remember we had one of our first hey, issues. Did you hear that? Right yeah. Where are we? Whoa! Oh, it's snow. It's nothing. snow. <laughs> like, where's, where's the fissure? No. This is the wrong way. Holy moly! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Joe, go to the fissure. Where's the, the fissure? Sun, the sunward the, side. Yeah, I'm on the sun. Well, there. No, oh, there goes the That's ship. We stayed in. Oh well. Go to the fissure. You think it's I think the, 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 the fissure, though. I have a feeling. You think it's the tails it's or down here? The oh! Oh! <laughs> go, go! Oh my god! That's what that well, sound my was. was right. Yes. Ooh, careful! All right, well, then we'll just we'll chill out. <laughs> we got nowhere else to go. <laughs> yeah, check your fun. check your check your radar. Check your like global geo radar. Um, you might be waiting a long time. <laughs> I mean, we can meditate, I guess, and come back to this. I do like how the tail is going no, almost I mean, perpendicular. Yeah. What'd you yeah. say, Ryan? Well, the tail is always facing away from the sun. Yeah, I know. It's just funny. Um. I mean, like I said, I can... I can... I can meditate, but Ryan, you said you want to stay here? Yeah, I, I would have thought... Look, like, look at the stars or something. I would have <sighs> thought that... And I'm I'm no astronomer, um, but I would have assumed that the tail would face towards the sun because it the sun melts it. So the sun is the source of the melting, and it's also the source of the gravitation that pulls the meltwater mm. like, away. So, kind of like... Contrary to what you'd think, I think the tail points towards the sun, but I don't know for sure. I, I, I thought the tail would just go which way it's moving, or the opposite of which way it's moving. I don't know enough about space. No, a comet's tails always um, point away from the sun because the sun's energy is blasting it away. That makes sense, too. The stuff it's melting. The heat, yeah. Yeah. Um, it just looks funny if when it's flying on its side in the well, since we got some time and our oxygen is sufficient. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, mm. Hey, this Saturday we have a, a, a stream going on. It's, that a more 20, snow up there? it's a 24 hour stream. Uh, there's a there's a video on the channel explaining some of the games we're playing. Uh, th that is the rough order as well. So um, I want to post the video. Yeah, sure. If the game could run while I had another window open, I would just play it on top of this. I... It's a very cute <laughs> I, I like your Tetris attack thing in there. <laughs> I, was like, I, was, I had no idea there's that many. Uh, 
there's a, there's a lot. <laughs> and I'm not even sure I can get the Animal Crossing one because I've been trying to unlock this stupid freaking nin new Nintendo 3DS from Nook's shop and I can't get it. Oh. I, uh, I should log back into Animal Crossing. Which one? I haven't oh. been there since it, it spring started. Oh, oh that a new one. I don't know yeah. that we're going to survive, oh, guys. This might take longer than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's on a very, very totally long elliptical orbit. There's the white... Oh, uh, there's the white hole. Yeah. And that. Yeah, it'll it'll take you to some interesting spots. You can. It's like a bus. It's like a metro. You can just sure. like, get off. Like, <laughs> look at the. Oh, that's part of the the planet coming through, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm also yeah, excited this for. Will probably be more crowded later in the runs. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also excited for Resident Evil Eight on Thursday. Yeah, holy shit. Thanks for reminding me. Um I will I'm gonna get vaccinated on Thursday morning and then I'm gonna watch Resident Evil 8. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might have a full crew because Steve said he'll, um, he'll, he's probably gonna probably gonna join on Thursday too. Hell yeah. That will be fun. I have um contained <laughs> myself to not watch any Let's Plays or Twitch streams of it so far. So Thank you, Ryan. I'm saving it. You're better than me. <laughs> You're better than me. I started just with one, and I've kept myself from watching anything else. So, and it wasn't very far in. At least I'm assuming it's not very far in. I think we're gonna. Oh, yeah, I've seen it come up on my YouTube streams, and I'm like, no, no. I, no. <laughs> I think we'll, I think we're gonna die. He smiles as soon as you say what? stream. Says, so <laughs> I think we're gonna die. Maybe. Yeah, it might be a good time to meditate. So? Oh, we'll die because of oxygen level. Oh, because of oxygen. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah. so? <laughs> well, so? at least we know. And I'm, so, from last week to today, I had even mentioned in other streams that I've been thinking about this game and I'm like, I want to fix things and like make progress because for some reason I always felt we didn't. Yeah, um, and this was one of my theories that if we're on the interloper and it gets closer to the sun, the ice will melt and we could get it. And I'm glad that yep. it will work out. Yep, yep, you're 100 percent right. Yeah, there's a lot of like interesting planetary dynamics puzzles that they don't like. You just have to figure out on your own. Yeah, I didn't even think about it, but it makes perfect sense for sure. Um. So just to, in universe, your character just meditated until they suffocated. Yep. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm glad I'm not the only one watching the beginning uh, of SGS like playthrough. We had an instrument. <laughs> yeah, if only we had an instrument, we would have been able to. Oh, that play. would be very fitting. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be like cool. Like you meditate, maybe you don't like play it, or you can't really play it. But like when you meditate, mm -hmm. like the dude just kind of takes it out and starts like, and then mm -hmm. you know you fade to black. Just playing man eater just, every time. I just figured you were the one playing the banjo. <laughs> uh, Tark no, says pumped for Resident Evil Eight. Seen the beginning hour like eight times. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then uh, Kit says, watch Tubby play it over the weekend, and then started watching SGF's playthrough and had to restrain my yelling. Okay, well, get ready for more yelling. <laughs> get ready to yell. All right, let's dodge. All right, we got time. Yeah, you, you all have time. I feel like chasing it like this is safer. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. He misses so much stuff. He misses a lot of stuff on first look, I've noticed. <laughs> Boy. But you cut him a break after playing the that Martian Gothic game. Oh my god. I didn't watch that yet, oh, and I'm afraid what a, to. What a shit show. <laughs> okay, so sometimes when I watch Let's Plays, I get 
you know, I'm always like, oh, they miss that, they miss that, especially if it's a game like you really like. And mm-hmm. it's like a little like, like, oh man, you missed it. And then I always think about because it, I, that made me think about it this previous week. I don't know what, but something similar. And then it made me think about again this game and yeah. how Jesse <laughs> must be like sometimes cringing inside and being like, you guys were almost there. I've not seen uh, SGF as I don't know how defeated <laughs> by a video game since with Martian Gothic since uh, as much since uh, crying is not enough. Oh no! <laughs> crying oh, is not enough is a no. is a worse game, but <laughs> this is this. <laughs> That's a bad game, Ryan. For me, it goes in it goes in like cycles. Where at first it was just wonderful like seeing you guys explore and see all the stuff for the first time and then and then it got to a point where it was like well they aren't really making progress on any of the like bigger mysteries because they're not reading anything (laughs) and so i started reading things out to kind of (laughs) highlight things that were more important but and now we're back to like your service is appreciated after everything like (laughs) what did you learn from this and we're like i don't know (laughs) no and now we're and and now we're getting to the point where it's like we're about to make some big bigger discoveries. I think. So I'm I'm glad you're here today. All right. All right they gotta have something in here that's Whee! like. This will be fun. You can fall out. Ghost, Ghost matter. matter. Ghost matter. Oh shit. Picture time. All right. Well, don't go down there. Oh yeah. Uh, This thing is just full of the ghost matter. Okay, this seems like we just gotta be smart about where we go. There is. Oh, this Uh-oh. is nice. Okay, good. Thing to read it. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we've now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I he- I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. I like poke. Uh. Uh. Alright. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is like slippery, because it, it is ice. So... Just make sure that I have an exit over here. Okay. I do appreciate the... Okay, let's not go that, that way, I guess. Go. <laughs> Should I go a little closer to see if there's, like, another path or something? Well, I don't think there's another path. Why don't you shoot your probe closer? Okay. Oh, shoot. It did make it through. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but it has hazard. I didn't know your probe did that. We never shot ghost material before. There it goes. Wee! Not that whenever, close. whenever it touches anything that um, is dangerous, it says hazard. Oh. Okay, that's I'm probably sure the way to go. I haven't noticed. That well, is... this one seems like super safe. Safe until the bottom. So let's not get a ton of speed. All right. Does it kill you instantly, or does it like? I don't just remember, choke and you? I don't want to risk it. It's fast enough. It's pretty quick. Like if yeah. you fall through it. All right. So uh, 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 you'll uh, die. Uh, you'll die. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you could fall through it like once, maybe. Uh. Um. Teladan, you only oh, missed the first loop, uh, which we figured out how to do this, and then we missed going in, so we just had to reset the loop. <laughs> they, um, Ryan figured out okay. about the, um... Okay, let's slow down here. It's First off, first off, it's Ryan's birthday, yay! Yay! Uh, yay. secondly, Ryan, Ryan figured out yay. about the, um, the sun melting the fissure, um, mm-hmm. but they got there, like, right as it was closing, <laughs> so they just watched it, like, close up on them, and they had to meditate. Well, that's nice for the is light. Is there, like... Oh, no, there is no... Ooh. Mm. 
Crystals! Okay, so that's not the way. There, there is something up there, I guess. Oh. Whoa, look at how much that probe lights up the room. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is nice. Whoa. I'll go up there since it seems I can't yeah. do much else. Let's go up there. Paladin says happy birthday. And then... Ed says this is what doctors do when you swallow magnets. <laughs> <laughs> It's also similar. Never mind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I think out of this group, you would know. Magnets? No, I wouldn't know about swallowing magnets. No, but not it, magnets. <laughs> what? Sending cameras into bodies? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little <laughs> bit. Right. Left. Left. It's still going. Other left. Okay. It's still going. I would like it to stop. Oh, is it just going around in a circle of ice? <laughs> it seems like it. It's like a toilet. <laughs> happy, happy fun probe times. Yeah. Wee. Okay. It doesn't look like it's moving anymore on your globe map to the left. Your no, probe looks like, like it's like yellow dots. I'm rolling in the same there we go. bowl. Uh, I don't know if... All right, I think I have to shoot it down again. <laughs> Because <laughs> I lost track of what we needed to do. Oop. Did you eat a GoPro or something? Well, it looks like there's like <laughs> multiple ways down this way. And you go right, left. And then that might be the only thing. Oh no, just keep taking pictures. Yeah, I'll try to keep my speed to a minimum Any here. Mm -hmm. Ed Joe's had, um... No, yeah, I had... A Procedure for kidney, kidney stone stones. is not is not fun. <laughs> Let's keep yeah. it at that. <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> You've talked about your kidney stones oh, before. Oh yes, I have at length. Mm -hmm. Drink your drink your water. <laughs> and uh, better than water. Or if you don't like water, diet water crystal light works really well. Crystal light was yep. what my urologist told me to to drink because it can help break up uh, possible stones. Hell yeah. This stream is sponsored by Crystal Light. <laughs> and Mountain Dew. <laughs> and Taco Bell. Uh oh. Oh, God. Mount Mountain Dew, not by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I'm going in this hole. This is the first thing I could see. That wasn't death. Teledan says to hydrate. Happy? And also happy birthday, oh, Ryan. <laughs> thank you. Dan uh, Teledan, I will. Hold on while we. I'll do it while there's. We have valuable time, so. What are you hydrating with? Water. Weak. <laughs> Get some crystal light. For proof. <laughs> For proof. I have Snapple. Beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> this is like, like what? what? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I mean, I also have... Whiskey. Yeah, there you go. But... That's booze. Mountain Dew, Taco Bell, and DK are the sponsors of the stream. Yes, very much. <laughs> um... Also, check out my brother's uh, Dragon's Dogma playthrough. It has been a it has been a hoot and a half. <laughs> it's been fun. All right, uh, I'm ready. That's where we came out of, I think, over there. Oh my god, our ship is still on. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. This 24, was another one of these. It's oh, twenty-four wait. kilometers away. <laughs> kilometers, <laughs> not. <laughs> it's definitely not. Very much not. Your ship still exists. Oh, oh body. As far as you've gotten. <laughs> Oh, dead no my. Oh. With crystals on I mean, it. Uh oh. I Oh, oh! What the fuck was that? What? What? Oh shit! All right. Well, there's the no my. Oh, we can get there, I guess. Yeah. It looked weird for half a second, but maybe that was this room. Yeah, I, I wonder what that was. I, that looked weird to me, too. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Jesse? No, no. That? What the fuck? Yeah, it's like going through something. I don't, oh. think, I don't think that will happen to you. <laughs> okay. It's like there's like a... A brain. 
<laughs> it's suddenly a bloodborne. Clip the camera. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's just. Uh, I'll. Oop. I was thinking. I've been actually watching a bloodborne playthrough. Okay. I didn't mean Play. to do that. <laughs> it's green. Are you saying bloodborne? Definitely. It's like radioactive. Oh. Radioactive. Let's Chip get log. this. Okay. Good. Oh. Here's poke. This is probably poke. Oh, this isn't freezing the time. Spherical stone, the spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. Nine pages. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing at least. Uh. Um, Hi, I don't think we want this matter. Blah, um, blah, blah. Oh, we're going towards the sun. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Everyone, hold on! <laughs> Please freeze oh, boy, time. That makes it, you that makes it super difficult. Hold on, oh, just just, just to get it in the log. <laughs> okay. Yeah, at least just to get in the log. It's good. All right. Um, we're also running out of air, so I have sixty seconds. Oh, hey, right, well, can you read it? Um, I will try. That looks crazy. Where'd it go? Where did it go? There. Right what? to the left. It's floating to the left towards the center. Center. It's down at the bottom now. There. Oh, yeah. I see the glow, yeah. It's see the glow you. of purple above you. Yeah. Straight. Full glow! Down. Like almost I don't. Ahead. How am I not no, know there? Is that purple glow? Yeah. Yeah. There. That's not it. Oh, there. Oh no, my God. no, no! It's stuck. Yeah. There. Now it'll freeze. <laughs> okay. Go, go, go. Um, should be at least ten times. Uh, I've never encountered anything like this uh, casing, but it's all of us protecting us from what's inside. We're still. This matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously, and the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go, warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke! Hmm. It froze time then. Oh, okay. so this was pie. Oh, we don't want to go down there. No, I think it. I think it killed them. I think it did too. Yeah. Yeah. Like right after Pi recorded that message, I think it blew up, and they died. Mm-hmm. That's sad. Mm-hmm. That's not what I thought was going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sad. Yeah. Yeah. That was a weird breath right there. That was because we died so we uh, suffocated. with by no suffocation. I, yeah. suffocated. I see. All right. I've only done that like twice. And I, I didn't, I didn't think of this the first time I played, but um, oh. I think from oh. the logs. Whoa. Oh, that was it, my. You thing. always grab that. Okay. <laughs> what did you? Um, that was oh. your little scouting. Yeah. Um, I think from the logs right after they built the sun station and found out that it didn't work is when they went to go check on the comet. I think in the timeline they built the sun station. Yeah, so like two hundred thirty thousand years yeah. ago. Mm. That's where I. I know. I know. It's it's in the 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 vein of the. It, it's against the vein of the game, or it's against the the gameplay of the game. Um, moments like that, I feel like I kind of wish time slowed down just a little bit. <laughs> the fact that I couldn't, probably because we were too close to the sun, maybe. Um, initially, that I it time didn't freeze to let me like actually like read it, 
I think that was kind yeah, of a, I don't know. a bit weird. of a bummer, but yeah, that certainly could have played out more smoothly. <laughs> but um, I mean, it it froze when we found it again, so um, maybe because it was on the ground or something. But did it? It did. Yeah. Yeah. Katie, it's your turn. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, you guys all know where I want to go. The Ash Twin Project. No. <laughs> the vessel. The vessel. Yeah, that's. I mean, I thought we'd find something it. more of the vessel and the <laughs> thing, but yeah, it's in the ve- it, the vessel's where it's at, okay. isn't it? Do you have any ideas about the uh, anglerfish? Whoa, what is this strange out planet? There. <laughs> what, what is this strange planet? <laughs> Let me get a closer look. This strange ship. Allow me I to mean... blow your mind. Quantum anglerfish. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I said oops they're, all they're anglers. Not... <laughs> <laughs> oops all anglerfish. In the, uh, the DLC. <laughs> Oh yeah? Yeah? Yes. Those are barking in time to the music. I did my job. Oh, not Brittle Hollow. That's not where we're going. There. Hey, Bows. Hey. I'm going to Bramble Hollow. Shut up in there, will you? <laughs> Shut up in there, will you? Oh shit, let's not do that. Yeah, don't go to the sun. Eh, eh, eh. Almost gotcha. <laughs> the, the autopilot is just like a crafty gremlin that's yep. always trying to like get you. <laughs> Would you like to go to Dark Bramble? I'll take you there. Eh, <laughs> you pay you know, this that's much. Really, um, that's really kind of fun because the word gremlin came from um, suspicious pilots thinking that gremlins were tearing apart their planes as they were flying. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. I didn't know that. Just like the Twilight Zone episode. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, that's just the <laughs> streaks from the interloper. All right. Wow, we can't seem to get away from this thing. So what are we doing in here, Katie? Uh, Inviting the anglerfish to a party. Okay. And then does not bringing out the booze. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd say go to the distress beacon. Yeah. yeah. I mean It's the distress. distress beacon frequency, yeah. But we've been to the escape pod. Yes, we have. I hate how it disappears. We have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys That's why we have it marked. Joe, you hate what? I hate how it disappears for a second because the light is behind some of the bramble. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should do a refresh really quick on the all the I was going to say, stop. I can't. Can you land? Not land, land, but you know, just kind of. Should do something? Just kinda, yeah, just hold A. Yeah, just plop yourself down. Okay. Now go to your description or your little stories or whatever. You look at your stories. Look at your stories. Tell it, Dan. That's really cool. The etymology of the word disaster, effectively from disordered heavens. Like Astra, hmm. this Astra, Ooh. when the stars were wrong and ill omens see in the sky. That's really cool. Watched my scout into the seat at the Nomai grave and took photos of an enormous derelict Nomai ship. I don't also remember that old. happening. It was, it was a while quite ago. A while ago yeah. Oh, okay. So didn't we? Yeah. So going to the Nomai grave. That's how we found out about the start. jellyfish, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we found out... We yeah. found... What's-his-face? Because the guy wanted to eat the jellyfish. 
Yes. Yeah, Fel Feldspar, yeah. Yeah, Feldspar, thank you. You know, like the rock. Right. Yeah, so let's go like the, yeah, to the Distress Beacon still. Okay. Because the I Distress Beacon, then we fire the probe into the seed, and then we get there. What is moving? I don't know. I think it's mm -hmm. just a piece of something. It's like a bramble floating. Yeah, I don't think it's... Yeah. So what... Oh. This this giant face comes closer. Ara ara, Ethan Coon. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan Winters. There would be Duel. so just be so quiet. <laughs> I hit the wall. I I know. That happens to you so frequently. I don't I don't ever remember like I never had the instinct to hug the wall in this place. I don't wanna go in there. <laughs> Maybe I should be a little more ballsy. I mean, what are they gonna do? Kill me? It's just not you're like scaring yourself by bumping into the wall. <laughs> so are we going to the red here? I think you're circling it. Yeah, he is. I don't know. Well, the red is not where this is. It is over... No, so just go to where it is. That's what I was trying to do when I hit the wall. There's probably a... There's probably a light behind that bramble. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell it and notice that our out is on our ship. Uh, it's just chilling there. Oh my god. What's up? What's up, guys? Oh. <laughs> Did you see that guy? Can that guy just blinds there. there. See, Ooh. here we are. Okay. That guy came out of oh. nowhere. <laughs> Why is my light? I had an idea about the angler fish because of, of a thing that I read in this, but it, it's clearly wrong if you're asking me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where am I going to land? Can I just like land here? Are we getting out or what? You just yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't you? Just match velocity. I really don't remember if we've been here before. Uh, you, you, you have, you have, have yeah. for sure. Okay. But it's it's good to refresh because it's been a while, you know. Yeah. It's, it's weeks between playthroughs, so. Can I fix my ship while I'm out? Fix your ship real quick. Yeah, just real quick. There we go. Um. So so tell it in. Joe's theory was so there's there's a bit of lore that the angler fish like. They kind of they're very territorial and they won't go in each other's territory and they use the lights to mark their territory and we use the and light kind of for conflicts the... yeah which kind of conflicts with them being blind <laughs> so like how do they use lights to mark their territory if they're blind and can't see the lights um is that you so punching a hole in my theory testing. no it, it's i think it's i mean a little bit but it's conflicting <laughs> um it's conflicting um lore i think Oh, in the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, right. I remember the lights to go back to the seed or back to the back to something. You have to follow the lights. Right. Uh this was where the the grave was, I believe. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Look up. Look up. Oh, there they gamers are. look up. <laughs> All gamers look up. Gamers don't look up. That's the problem. Gamers. Gamblers. Pachinko players. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Shoot it. I remember this now. Uh, oh, right. We did shoot it in there, didn't we? There it is. Okay. Duplicate. Well, now we got to get in there. Yep. Let me go back to the ship. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it might have been better if the Nomai scientist said the fish had exceptionally poor eyesight as, instead of just straight up blind. Yeah. Because uh, then it's just like, well, I guess I just got to be quiet. And then that tells me yeah. maybe it's just like, don't be in the rocket. But I also feel like I am I myself would be loud enough. So, I don't know. It's not hey like you can assholes. launch with... Oh, can't you just like... Do a Tokyo Drift cast <laughs> them or something? So you can't come in with any momentum is the thing. Oof. Yeah, you can. You can't because it resets your momentum it once you get into a new tunnel. spot. Yeah, shoot it after that. Here uh -oh. we go! Was Tokyo Drift! Fish? Was that a fish? That was a fish, yes. See, now you shoot it here. Oh my god, oh my god, stop, oh my god. Okay, wait, wait, no, just keep going. Just keep going. Oh my god. You said to stop. <laughs> so I stopped. <laughs> ah. Well. Oh, that's if you fun. Find, um, uh, right before you stopped, if you maybe just kept going. I was thinking about it. I was like, well, we do have a little momentum. Paladin asks if you, Ryan, remember Feldspar's story of his run-in with the fish. I think they never went back and talked to Feldspar about that story. Because they, they got there right when they, the universe was ending or something, and they just, like, sped through the dialogue. Tell it, and you should, t you should regale us of uh, Feldspar's gone. story. It should be in the notes, though, if we've talked to him about it. I think it's mostly just a fun story. I don't, I don't know that it's more. like... Yeah. Hmm. See up here? I think it's mostly just a fun flavor story. Okay. Well, then I guess we gotta find him again. I guess so. Do you want to do another uh, another run at that? Sure. I mean, what else is there to do? Everything kind of revolves around us getting in there, I think. So, or at least like the two big question marks we have. Well. So during my week of thinking, I didn't think anything about Dark Bramble <laughs> because I didn't <laughs> want to. Um, yeah. But I did think about the Quantum Moon and the Ash Twin Project. Um, Ooh, I want to hear. So I think we're like super close for the Ash Twin Project. Yeah, me too. Um, I was kind of surprised we didn't get it with the... And I think the Ash Twin is like with the sun station. I thought I thought the sun station Me would too. be like, yeah, yeah, now you're done. But also I was remembering whenever we put those little slates and get like, like we could see a different place, whenever we do it with the Ash Twin, it shows us like, like space or something. I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely disorienting. So I think we need to go yeah, hold up. This is Ryan's turn. Ash Twin. It's something on Ash Twin. Well, I mean, we kind of died. Ever. Go ahead. Katie says, dejected and defeated. Can we look at Ash Twin Project then? On the thing? <laughs> and the arrow's pointing to it. It's only Ryan's birthday anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely protective shell. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22-minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. When did we figure that out? Every memory recorded by Nomai statues is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. The advanced warp core that seems was approved important. for installation. Okay. So it's on Ash Twin. What do the arrows point to it? Um, so this is from the No My Mind saying the central, central chamber inside A. Okay. Do do do. 
Black Hole Forge. Um, okay. Can you guys still hear me, by the okay. way? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, now. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that, no, those didn't help. Here's the thing with the uh, Ash um, Twin, is we do actually have a thing. Uh, we still have the, oh. We have this on this, pro on this place, which was the lake bed cave. So, uh, that is uh, a thing to explore. No, I don't think. You don't think that has anything to do with... I don't think that has anything to do with this. Well, the one I thing think it's on Ash Twin because the it's the Ash Twin project. It's not on Ember Twin. The one thing here, though, I will not mention the is Ember Twin project, Joe. They did have an anglerfish fossil here, meaning maybe this still have a clue. I don't know. It is a lake bed. Anglerfish fossil wasn't in the lake bed cave, though. Um, no, but it's on the same planet. I guess is my point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good point. Um, uh, every no, no, no. Go out of here. <laughs> go to... Can you go back to rumor mode? Yeah. And go to... Uh, zoom in a little bit. And it's not the one co directly connected to Ash Twin Project, but it's by the High Energy Lab. I can't read what it says. Mm. Ash Twin something. It's a tower design. Yes! Oh my god. Designed for the towers of Ash Twin Equator, each tower warps to a different planet, although many know my work quickly noted that the sun is actually not a planet. Okay, thank you. Each tower is designed to visual... Okay, the towers are located... All other locations are crucial to the Ash. Oh, look, they have... Okay, that picture is what I want to see. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, they have the, the towers. Look at that. The two towers. There. <laughs> yeah, we need the two tower one. Because that's an ash twin. Yeah, wasn't that the and one that... maybe it'll take us there. Wasn't that the one that we had to get in too fast? Or was that to get to the sun station? That was the sun station. Yeah. That was sun station. But that was in one of those, right? No, no that was in that one. Never mind. Yeah, it was in the... It was in one of these. Yeah, top left design tower, the, but I want to go to the top right design tower. Top right design tower. Okay. Right now? Yeah. Okay. You want me to restart the, the cycle? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess. No. You might need no. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, yeah, because you need the sand to go away. That's yeah. right. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Might as well waste your time by flying around in space. Katie, yeah, they'll get to the vessel one day. One day. Well, it's your turn next, so. No, that's fine. No. Just trying to be fair to the birthday boy. <laughs> birthday boy. I am, mm. um, I don't know if you could tell. Birthday tell it, Dan, I really liked your comments. <laughs> uh, I am very excited for, uh, for my stream. Saturday. Saturday. 8 a.m. Central. To Sunday, um, 8 a.m. Uh, Central. Oh, Teladan's. Uh, Teladan had a comment about um, looking for on YouTube like you have... that I really liked. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. That I was. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure who's more excited. Uh, Which Bowser or Joe. ATP? And then uh, <laughs> I was like, ATP is Ashwin Project. I told that to Nicole, and oh, she okay. said, "Clearly, you." <laughs> <laughs> It's clearly you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I think Ryan Here's was just just thing. reading your 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 uh, chat teledan. Mm -hmm. Ignoring me, yes, but was. that's okay. It's his birthday. He can do that. Ignoring me again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still yes. intrigued, and yes, I have was. been intrigued for quite some time of those big ass weird towers. But I feel like every time we've gone there, there hasn't been anything. Which one are we going to? Two towers? Two towers. Okay. The, the double one, yeah. Okay. I'm going to wait 
here until I can get a better sense of where it is. Mm, you could you should just go. I, I think you run the risk of like being too late. They're always along the path of the. Oh, that's not even the tower. Um, Whoops. They're always along the path of the. Yeah, yeah we're not even the the dust. So if you kind of just follow that, that's where they are. See, that's Sun Station. Oh wait, that's just a column of sand. <laughs> what do those towers remind me of? Um, like that one right there. I mean, some of the technology in my ship. Um, trying to think of some other stuff. Some of the warps, I guess, or the, oh. the like the gravity cannon and stuff like that. What about in our universe? If you saw that, what would you be? The, like? that, this is what this is. Solar panels. Solar panels. Yeah, solar panels. I would Seems say. Seems likely. Seems possible. The big laser. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they want to blow up the sun. I mean, come on. They need that energy to charge whatever sure, the fuck we they're all doing. Do. Alright, so Ryan, which tower is that? This is Sun Station 1. Yeah! Ryan's this really is Sun good. Station. <laughs> Ryan's really good we, at the towers. We, yeah, but when we get to Zoo Station... Want... Mm -hmm. Zoo Book Station. Zoo Book Station with the tiger poster. <laughs> this is the one we the want. The tiger poster, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's this it. This is done. My suit! <laughs> no! No! Um, this one's broken, so I don't think we do anything. Just gonna go up here. I don't know if this is. Oh, there's just lore. No, I'm pretty sure you've read that. Yeah. I could yeah. To do it again. Almost Boy. positive. This, uh, it's always this, good to be early. It's like showing up early for your flight. That's what I do. <laughs> I bring my switch. And I'm like, I'm in. I'm in it for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Do you want to keep your ship there because the sand thing's gonna come by? I think I'm in a good spot, but I also I think he's, he's off to this. Side. Oh yeah, yeah I that, you're right. tried to plan it, but I mean, that doesn't always mean I correctly did it. So. <laughs> Here, I'll wait under the bridge now. So there's... Hmm? Gotta be an another entrance. There's got to be another way. Uh, tell so it in, cool. to Look answer your question, what I think they're designed to do. I think they're, like, I, I kind of agree. They're trying, maybe, absorbing power of some sort. Whether that's solar or, or whatever. Nuclear. Nuclear. Let me in. Oh, yeah, the purple. We want the purple. Where is it sending us? Uh, um, to the place <laughs> that has to do with the Ash Twin project oh, okay, on okay. Ember Twin. Okay. I think that's what I'm thinking well, we're going. Where it's coming. We're going. It's good. Here we go. Oh lord. Oh lord, it's coming. Ara ara, Ethan Coon. Ah, uh, whoop. Well, that what? happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like we're in space. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. We've been here. If you if you picture it, like you were just staring straight up, and then you teleported, and you're like, "Where am I?" Like, yeah, you're still you're, I think you're in the wrong like, building. Oh, where am I? I thought I seriously thought we were like. Yeah, I think we need to be. Don't go back. Okay. I think we needed to do the other building. Uh, okay. No problem, guys. What are you, oh, what are you doing? What, what are you I'm doing? going back. Oh, right, 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 right. Back. <laughs> There's a teleportation device. Listen, forgive me for not oh, being used to teleportation devices, okay? 
<laughs> Joe, where are you going? No, I'm just going to fly back to the tower. <laughs> Joe selects meditate. <laughs> done. Oh. There's what? a dead dude there. Yeah, yeah, we've seen him. We've seen him. Yeah. There's a dead Nomai right outside the door. It's Broski. Yeah. I wonder who that is. Now I'm kind of interested whenever I see a dead Nomai, I'm like, who Hold on. is that? Which one was this? Yeah. A lot of them, you Hold can on. kind of like place them. I never put all that work. Yellow yeah, poke and pie. Mm hmm. And selling them. Uh, by the way, yeah, I have okay, a one that kind of sticks out because they're the one on the corner. The place on Ash Twin. <laughs> I by think the way, this will take us to the place on Ash Twin that's important to the project. Okay. Uh, I have readjusted pricing and uh, added a new sound. Ah! <gasps> I forgot you did that. That's not playing. Oh, I don't hear it. Why isn't that playing? Oh. It should have played. I tested it. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Let me see if it even showed up on here. Because I remember there was that weird time it was not... Uh, let me do this real quick. Refresh browser Hurry source. Hurry spin me! <laughs> That's good. Sounds. Which one did you do, Jesse? I did. You can do it. You can do it. I'm just gonna do it for you. Hurry up and and Parks said, "Hurry up and spin me." Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can hurry up and spin me. <laughs> uh, hurry up and spin there it is. <laughs> what do I think will happen when the sand comes? That's a great idea, Teladan. What are we doing, guys? Why are we? Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> To redeem yeah. sound alerts. Get what sucked do I do? up and... I alerts. Oh my god. Just do it. Yeah, we're gonna go get sucked up. Stream froze because I was you do adjusting Why the, you the uh -oh. sound thing. The the game itself is... Uh, cannot play unless it's not going. Oh, it there really goes. did freeze. Well, hold on. Yeah, let me... Ow. We're back. Whoa. Joe. <laughs> I'm ow. I'm out of uh, whatever. I'm just gonna sit here and see what happens. Yeah, do it. You can do it. You can do it. That was the point. Oh my god! Here we go. I don't know if that's that's <laughs> okay. That didn't work great. Right. Okay, go back yeah. in there. That was you got sucked off into space. <laughs> no. Yeah, we have to go back. <laughs> um. Joe, what are you doing? No, just okay, so you, okay. Did, you did it right. <laughs> Ooh, can you make it? So, can you make it? Ooh! Oh God, it's right behind me. We have to do it where we don't get sucked out. There we go. Nice. Maybe there's something expertly moment? handled. Oh God, I can't slow down. Oh Jesus. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> right next to cactus too. Uh, not as easy to easily distracted. I I. When something is broken, I have to fix it. Uh, is yeah, the stream no, is the stream moving? By the way, yeah, yeah, on Twitch. Good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Teladan says the sand pillar strikes again. Because it's not moving on my Twitch Wait. that I have running. No, so. not that. It is moving on my Twitch. There we go. Okay. Not that one. This. One. Not this one. No, that no that one. This, what? Uh, oh, in the broken one. Broken one. <laughs> Yeah. What are we doing? It's going to happen again. But we have to make it so we don't get sucked out by the sand. I have no I oxygen. Know. We have to figure something out. You can go to your ship, I think. It's we have to here. figure something out. I've got time. Oh, your ship's, is your ship on this planet or the other one? It's I was on the... Oh, I got, so how it did get, get sucked up. So we don't get sucked up. Well, oh. well, if you get sucked up, you can go to your ship, I guess. It's I, on the other planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll try to see if maybe... One of these towers had plants, does didn't it? They did, but they're, I don't know which one. <laughs> this is a bad run. It's the, um, <laughs> I'm just going to uh, try Timber to thrust one. downwards as it comes. In the final seconds of our life, because... We'll... Gosh, I hope they have trees where we're getting warped to. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. There was a lot that happened on this run that was non-game related that threw me off a little bit. 
I apologize. Or maybe... I can't. Nope. Okay. Nope. You're if fine. this doesn't work... Okay, keep going. Go Go to your ship. Go to your ship. Um, I think you have to wait until the sand finishes. And then oh, you maybe. can maybe. I'm dying. I can't make it. <sighs> you need to learn how to hold your breath. I, um... Ryan, I don't think the I don't think you run out of sand. No, but the sand does stop going, right? I think it it doesn't. I mean, it's probably like uh, I don't I think it's. I, I think it'll go to the end of the run. I figured what you're saying. So you think that um, if we go in immediately after the sand passes over, that we'll see the pl part of the planet that we warp to, is the idea, and then we'll be able to warp to it because we're looking I at don't it, know. right? Well, that was the idea. Yeah, because it has that. Yeah, it's got like a, a seven second delay. You know where where you can you can't stand on that that pad. Mm -hmm. So it's like right after the sand goes over, then you could step on the pad and and go. What about um, getting our ship in there? <laughs> Just thrusting downward. I don't. I don't know if we can teleport ships. Maybe you could get your ship up, but the ship moves too. Yeah, I mean, and the ship. It would take both of us. I, I don't think we could just park the ship too, above so it. Not... Yeah. It's impossible. There's no way. Go to rumor mode. See if there's any other rumors connected to it. So oh, what are is, all the rumors? It is, is there Katie's anything turn. that we haven't? Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. That's fine. Let's but just figure it out. In the meantime, we can, we can look. This isn't passing time, so... Statue workshop, okay. I gotta. So this line right here, and this is just me. Mm hmm. I gotta check off his gun with this. What does it make you think about? It means that I feel like we're gonna do that negative 22. Mm hmm. Or maybe have been, obviously, but, like, I feel like it's going to become more obvious. Maybe I'm wrong. I think... I think we've been doing it. Yeah, you think we are the, um... Are we the Ash Twin Project? Our whole life we I don't know if is. we're the Ash Twin Project, but I think we're, like, living the Ash A Twin result Project. of it? Okay. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Ashtern project is this whole with basic. I, I still think it's about to blow up the sun. Like that's the whole purpose. Well, why do they? Why did they want to do that? Because they needed the power. That was it. Okay. Yeah, they. I don't remember the why they needed to blow the power. up the sun and to do the Ash Twin project. To to do the Ash Twin project. Yeah, they they needed the power of a supernova to create the 22 minute time in like a uh, paradox basically wait a minute because because what their if, normal warp created a fraction of a second time paradox what if we go to the warp on uh the ash twin when the sand is done that's what ryan was saying that's what ryan was saying I oh i i, I thought he meant just will. after it passed is, I no, no, no. He Brian meant it when it it finished at the end of the minutes oh, or whatever. Okay. I, I, I thought you I, meant. I, I, I don't think it runs out of sand. I thought it did. I think the sun goes. Yeah, and that's forward. what Jesse was saying. I don't. Okay. So that's why I kind of morphed it into being like, oh, go on it after then. Yeah. Okay. There, there's there's a time the at the passes. start of the run when it's not dumping sand, but. At that point, you can't access the towers because they're covered in sand. Right. Once it starts dumping sand, I don't think it stops. All because the glass is busted. Broken. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a way to remove the warp core. But we could still try to go in after. I, I, I think that'll work. It's up to Katie. I said let's just finish it. So you want to go back to Ashtwin? Yeah. Well, check out check out the other rumors first. Check out all the all the rumors basically that are orange. See if there's any hints there. So Statue Island. No. I 
Okay. On the event that it failed. No. Oh. Every no my warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Okay. No one noticed something strange. Warped objects appear to arrive at the receiver slightly before they depart. Yep. Stick of time interval between an object arriving and departing was small. Okay. No one were skeptical. Yep. Okay. Yep. Guess we never read that one. What's the line coming off of the White Hole Station? All the lines coming off of White Hole Station. White Hole. Including this? Yeah. Uh, no. That one. What about okay. no, the remember. Ash Twin Towers? And the arrows off of it? Mm-hmm. I remember, where was that place that had the, the black hole, like, things that we could take? And, like, move around. Was that just for that testing was purposes? High energy lab. It was the high energy lab. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was that just, like, to show you what it was happening? Oh, or okay. was that, like, do you think there was a... Can we use that? I remember that place not being the easiest to get to. Yeah, me too. So I feel like it's not... I also feel like that's the only time... you would move yeah. around. Yeah, that would be the only time that you would actually have to do something. <laughs> I mean, um, that's not like forge. check the stuff on the black hole forge. Diagram depicting. Go up to the top. Oh, okay. Go up to the top. Okay. Okay. A diagram depicting the alignment angle Wait, between the warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp to tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five degrees of the astral body center. Results in slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I think if we stay outside of the tower, the sand passes over. When the sand is, like, pretty much almost or more than halfway through, we run in. And then it'll warp us. Okay. This tip was patched in after release. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, right. Hurry up and spin me! <laughs> <laughs> I did my best to remove the background audio on that. I think it came out all right. Yeah. I feel like that was an absolutely perfect thing to have in on on the fly, ready to go for Mario Party. <laughs> It is neat that there's no sand going right now. Mm-hmm. And it's just this perfect sand planet. Or ash. Beautiful, beautiful filled hourglass. Do they even explain why that happens? Hourglass? No. <laughs> they don't explain any of the physics in this. Wow. Because it's cool. All the other science <laughs> stuff that they have, they don't tell you why they have this happen. Because it's whimsical? Whimsical. Whimsy. Hurry up and whimsy. <laughs> uh, to get that I mean, sound, I had to watch some of our playthrough, and I'm like, that game was really good. It was a good game. I mean, this is just basically an hourglass. Yeah, I think that's the 22 minute mm -hmm. glass. Yeah, 22 minute glass. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, enter the matrix what a game that was a game it was fine that game is fine they packed so much into into a little yeah little gamecube disc and you know that they that those devs were crunching too Go talk to Chert while we wait. 
Is he on the other one? Is he on the Ember Twin? Yeah, he's on the other planet. Sure, why not? Chert, why not? Chert, why not? Chert's donut. <laughs> Chert can do it. Chert can do Chert it. Chert can do it. <laughs> Hurry up and chirp me! <laughs> I will say, uh, one of the one of the games that we I had to kick from the um, from the uh, from the Mario Use Party the stuff stack, yeah. was um, was uh, I wanted to do a four four player trying the trying to get the highest score in um, Black Knight, uh, but we tried oh. that you and me, Jesse, and it did not go well because of the the lag difference. And how precise yeah. you need to be for. But also, I, I'm not in Chicago, and I, I think other well, people might have better. Latency I didn't want to give unfair advantages, so it is not in there. But I will. I am not against playing the Black Knight. It's oh, I should put Knight. this on. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay, we're good. Turn, my dude. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. What are you up to? Oh yeah, I forgot he called it that. Look at his cool helmet. Yeah, Chert's a little egg. He's a little Twitter egg. <laughs> <laughs> Chert's got some bad opinions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that. Just say you found something. How dangerous is this home of falling sand? I'll say I'll find something after this. Yeah. That's right, Tarx. Matrix, uh, Enter the Matrix is canon to the tr uh, Matrix, Matrix trilogy. I found something. <laughs> I found it. Oh, Chert, you're never going to find it in your star charts. <laughs> Get off your ass and go do some work, Chert. Yeah, that's true, uh, Teledan. We're not actually waiting too much here because they freeze the time, but it's always good to talk to Chert. Yeah, I wonder how that is. Anyway, see ya. Anyway, see ya, dude. Keep it real. Hope your death is painless. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. I guess kinda. But, I mean, it's always good to talk yeah. to somebody. Thanks for the company. Have you guys sure. seen Palm Springs? The movie, uh, Palm Springs? No. no. Is, it, is it Palm Springs? I think I talked about this last time. Think about Palm Springs Wet Hot American Summer? Is that what you're thinking? That's it. I'm thinking about Wet Hot American Summer. Yes, thank you. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, no, Palm, Palm Springs is the time loop uh, wedding movie. <laughs> this guy gets stuck in a time loop at a at a wedding, and uh, it's um, Andy Samberg. Um, okay, is, is like the main one of the main characters, um, and it's good. And it, it kind of like gets the thing of like. You know, if you were stuck in a time loop, you know, how much time would you spend, you know, talking to people versus just doing things on your own, you know? Sure. 
what well, what philosophy of life would you would you come up with? Yeah. Um, if it's I knew, I, I mean, obviously, it all depends on if I know I'm in the time loop. Otherwise, I'm just doing the same thing I did. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think. Yeah, you, you, I think you always know you're in a time loop. <laughs> I mean, for the sake of like fiction, yeah, you're probably right, but. <laughs> Um. No, not I always. You land your ship under the bridge. Yeah, I guess that's true. NPCs don't know they're in a time loop, so you're that's right. true. Mm -hmm. Except for these. Unless everyone knows and they're they're in a time loop, then everyone gets to do whatever the Only fuck Gabbro. they want. <laughs> Only Gabbro knows it. Ryan had the idea to park under the bridge, right? So how are we here? I guess. Yeah, just so your ship doesn't fly away. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could also just see where it's pointing and then try to go there. <laughs> I mean, they point everywhere. Each of them. I mean, where when it when it aligns, each like of these warps have taken us to some place that we can't. Right. But typically, the door is broken on the way out. 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 I don't know. Sure. I'm just trying to think outside the box here a little bit. Trying to think outside the bun. I do all the time. I'm I did yesterday. To think outside the bun here. Quit Baja blasting my ass for this one, guys. I swear to God, if either of these two actually played this game, they'd be dying so often. You all joke about Joe's piloting skills, but just just you wait. No, you did pretty good. the The fact that you got through the the prickle pathway that one time was just amazing. That was really good. <laughs> that should be all right. Prickle pathway is my favorite Judgment! DKC level. <laughs> I am path. What am I doing here? Mm. Wait in here. I'll wait in here. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. No. Okay, yeah. Were you saying okay, yeah, to the pause, or okay, yeah, stay in there? He's um, yeah, stay in there. Okay. I guess. We just don't want to get sucked up. Now. Now. It worked. Yay. Oh shit! Oh God. Ryan was right again. Yeah, Ryan's on a roll today. Once I saw the closet okay. there, I was like, maybe that that seems real, real convenient. <laughs> Read the top one. Eight minutes, twelve seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Oh, masks receiving data from probe tracking module, giant steep memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. 14 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Okay. Hey there, friends. Oh, this is it. Yeah. This is it. Yep. Look up. Look at us. Look at us go. Okay, so. So where are oh, you? Is this check, the your, aura? check your map. Oh, we're inside. Okay. Inside this the warp tower goes down into the core of the planet. Cool. Then wow, we finish the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carve, we will craft our most ambitious project yet: the Ash Twin project, powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the high energy lab. I still can hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis was true. Oak just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep, where Cassava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. 
Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the le uh, not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Cassava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. <laughs> The important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Oh, look at all that. Lore, mm -hmm. lore, lore. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well, and that Avans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avans can. But then, if anyone can go to device into exploding, that too is likely Avans. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avans that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? Or is Mallow part of the problem? Mallow's always part of the problem. <laughs> Flox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. Oh, hold on a sec. I'm, I'm sorry to... One, sorry, my bad. I realized this, the audio for this game was at maximum volume. I'm sure it was fine on stream because this game isn't very loud. No, it wasn't. But, okay. Um, when the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. I and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn re uh, supply the power the Ash Twin Project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin Project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after those orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. Oops. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end the cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station. To generate power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the Sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin Project is theoretically sound. We were only able we were only able to only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system, and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Mm. Mm. Oh boy. Too soon. Too soon. I mean, is this all the same? I bet you've seen these before. Good news, Yero. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we've seen is everything well at the forge. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Yeah, yeah. Ignore her, Yero. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Oh, may as well. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working <laughs> on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. <laughs> Should I try the others? Um, go through them. I don't have to read all of them. You yeah. can just kind of breeze through them. Timber Hearth? Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we read this one. 
think we specifically read this on Timber Hearth. In that cave. Probably. Yeah. I know we've read this one. Great soundtrack. Equipment failure. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we definitely... Nothing goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues, and their mask will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Yeah. So those of uh, those masks are of import. Well, I mean, we obviously they are of importance, but. I feel like one of them holds our memories. Yeah. And that's how we get shipped back. Shipped back. Before I hmm. move that big old marble, let's read this. I see. Oh, wait a minute. What's... Is that a light only because... Yeah, okay, okay. I think it's opening when you're moving it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Go. I mean, I think you need to move that yeah, all the way up. That happened on its own. I. What's up, Ryan? From what I've gathered, I think if we remove that, we stop our time from reversing. Or going back. Which one? Oh, just any. It just says warp. I, I oh, think the car in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's one. Should I do, should I do it? I should do it. Probably, I should probably do it. No. I think it would kill us. Like, literally end the game. This is what makes us go back 22 minutes every time. Like, literally this. This warp core. I mean, what else we gotta, what gotta do here? I don't think you should remove it. I don't. I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> Teledan says you could put it back. You can put it back. Oh, okay. Teledan, don't, take it. don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Eat it. Okay, don't put it back. <laughs> Katie, like, eat I like it. that the music just stops there. <laughs> Why can't you eat it? I mean, I could take it with us. Then you are the warp core. That's true. You are the ash. This is Project how we get then. the angler fish to not notice us. We bring this thing. Mm -hmm. That's it. Sure. Um, why would that be? I don't know. It's a joke. Just warp <laughs> out of it. <laughs> not really. I love how the music stops. <laughs> All good, Teldan. That's good to know now. I think I like the tension about pulling it out for the first time. It's yeah, like, <laughs> there was that. I felt that, but I got what I wanted out of it. It was more like, are we gonna get credits or no? I mean, maybe when the sun explodes. <laughs> What else oh, should I do yeah. here, guys? That's still going, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, think, I think that's it. Oh my god. This is not a good idea. Just... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna... No! <laughs> Give it to the anglerfish. You've got time. Alright. It's the only way. It's the only way. Think about my actions? Oh, I've thought about it. 
Wait a minute. Oh, we don't have time. Great. No, we don't. We have zero time. Yeah, I didn't realize the music was starting. I'm stuck. Gah. There's only one thing we can do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. The most the most anticlimactic way to end the game. <laughs> what? What else was there to do with it? Leave it. <laughs> we had no time. This would be a lettered We're ending. Dead. What does lettered dead, ending mean? Dead. You know, like if you play it like near or whatever, this is like ending A. Mm. Mm, yeah, I got you. I wasn't hearing any other suggestions, so I, like ending a. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I didn't hear any suggestions, so I flew straight to the suggestion. I said to feed it to the thing, but then we don't. We didn't have time. Right. Told you, done. Look what you've done. <laughs> what if we? Now we. What if we lost all our notes? No. Oh, okay, reason. Hey, they wouldn't be that mean. Yeah. What a terrible they nightmare. Could. They might be. I mean, they caution you, and they do this entire lore dump beforehand about how it's like, hey, you know how you're doing time loops? Like, this is what controls it. <laughs> um, I feel like if I were designing this game, I would very much just be like, okay, yeah, you've, you've chosen to end the game. <laughs> I feel like there would have been a prompt at the beginning or when you grabbed it and been like, you sure? No. I know, I know <laughs> that there's a big lore dump, but you also have to think about there players that like, don't read like that, and you have prompts. to like, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, mm -mm. I don't think players get to players that. Players that don't read that need to get punished. Well, or, or just players that have gotten to this point in the game are somewhat invested, because you can't just accidentally get to this, to the Ashtwin project. You have to really be putting in the work. We did it. We did it. You got the Yay. Ashton project. So there's just just the vessel is the is the like the last big question mark. You mm -hmm. you have not gotten Bunch yet. quantum stuff. But what about of, the moon? I feel like still. we didn't do the moon. The quantum moon, you mean? Uh, Katie's turn. Yep, Katie's yeah. turn. Except I have to run to the bathroom. Yeah, it, like it says like. I'll be back while you discuss. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's it's weird. Because we have the quantum moon, um, like question mark filled in, but mm. I feel like we've not really done the quantum moon. Like the Ash Twin Project, I feel like if someone were to quiz me on something about it, I would be able to tell you. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't feel like that with the quantum moon. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely getting there is just part of it. Um, and then there's still stuff you don't know yet um so teledan's asking about the yeah, Teladan, sixth location is, i um, believe we do yeah they they haven't gotten that information yet they haven't gotten there's like the rule of the sixth location that they that is still a question mark so um yeah but the vessel you know that there's no question marks surrounding that so um that might be a good <laughs> thing to do and then sorry um, bless you. Uh, and then after that, you can you're free to explore all the quantum stuff. Things you don't know yet. <laughs> you don't know what you I don't feel like know. We're right there with the vessel. I mean, we can see the vessel. It's the stupid fish. It's those dang angler fish. Can we like quantumly loop the fish out of where they live and <laughs> kill them? <laughs> That'd be wild. It's nothing. It's nothing that complicated. Oh, okay. Good, yeah, I, I, th I think just just take a couple couple runs at it, um, 
and I can kind of offer suggestions if, if you need it, but I think bouncing back no, and man. forth between places kind of uh, kind of stops us from like figuring out some of these puzzles. Sure. So what do we want? <laughs> Just go back. Yeah, there it is. The question mark for the sixth location. Uh, what about the arrow? T- oh, that do, is the arrow. What about the, the vessel, actual though? box? We should do the vessel. Vessel. Yeah. So I think we were on the right path with the vessel of going to the graveyard, shooting the Teletubby in, and then following that signal. Mm-hmm. But we don't know how to get past the angler. But mission. I have not critically thought. Of, yeah, we I've should go talk to Feldspar again. So. To save Come time, on. because, yeah, because yeah, the thing you don't understand, oh, the thing you don't understand is getting past the anglerfish. To save time, you could just try figuring that part out of it and not doing all the stuff with like the the know my grave and shooting the probe in. Like maybe just skip all that stuff because. You know how to do that, but you don't know how to get past the anglerfish, so. I didn't know how to get to the anglerfish on a re- on a reliable basis outside of going towards the red, I guess. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, so m- the only way that I knew to do it was get to the ship, shoot the shoot the probe in, and then follow that, because that I felt like that always led to that one place. And, um, clearly, uh, that place is important. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I'd forgotten that you didn't know how to, like, get to the anglerfish every time. So I was jumping a little bit ahead. Besides, like, hey, red. There's I the mean, quantum moon. Yeah, no, it's teasing us. Ooh. Like moved oh, in my whoa. seat. <laughs> yeah, this game really kind of brings that out of you. Here's like oh. <laughs> playful moon. <laughs> the moon says. Ryan, would you have kept playing uh, once you realized you had to get past the anglerfish? I mean, it's kind of like asking if I'll still play. Like, if we're in this current situation now and I'd still play. And I'd say yes, because... You're interested now enough? I'm, now I want to know the answers. Like... <laughs> yeah. I'm still sad about the comment. Yeah. Yeah. I really yeah. thought... Like, it really just came in and wiped them out. Hold and, on a sec. Hold on a sec. I don't know if it's spoilers, but are we going to find anything more about okay. Darth? Oh my god, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If I shoot one of them. Yeah. Uh, it, already, I like it always shows no up in the same spot. No matter what you do, it goes in the same... Yeah. Yeah, same orientation. What are your guys' thoughts? Before we get in there and start being on a, a Blast timer. Blast it, and as soon as you see one of... Um, I say blast it as fast as you can, but as soon as you see, like, one of their shadows in the mist, like, drift. Whoa. Ooh. What the hell? Oh, look. Eggs. Hello. Hey, thanks yeah. for the follow, oh, Carb oh, TV. <laughs> Carb TV, you're just in time. <laughs> yeah, Carb, it's, it's, um... It is their first playthrough. I am the only one I've played through it all, um, but I'm not giving them spoilers. I just kind of offer a helping hand when they need it. And then Teladan in the chat is uh, has also played it. So Ryan, they're, you think they're close to the end? They're very close. You think boosting now and then letting go once we get through? We're trying to figure out how to get past these uh, these guys. Yeah, yeah. TV. Like once once you do that, like that that barrier that kind of like resets you yeah i think like shortly after that you can stop boosting okay yeah no i did maybe i did okay oh my god are we gonna okay 
What if there's more? Oh, you can hear them. Mm -hmm. (laughs) What if there's more? Oh my god. They're just sleeping. Well, are they snoring? (laughs) I think they're pretty awake, ready to to get something. But you can pretend they are because it sounds like they're snoring. (laughs) They're like cats; they're just ready to be up and at it. So So once you started explaining this, Ryan, I was like, maybe you're right because, and I think Jesse gave the maybe unintentional hint, but the hint about um, I can look around. So I'm like, I guess I could technically kind of steer a little bit. No, looking around doesn't steer you at all. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. No, not at all. You can you can look behind yourself, and you're 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 not affecting your movement in any way. Okay. Um. Now you've got a meal. Can you see little fishies in these? Think of the caviar. Yeah. <laughs> now what? Mm. Eat it. Go yeah. inside and see if you can move it around. Look behind I, you. Do you think I can oh. move? Oh. All right, they're pretty far. I think so. If you can't see the fishy shadows anymore, I think you're good. Let's move just past this. I'm going to... That's what I say. I don't think they'd eat this. They're pretty far All from... Right. Them. Are they? A... Yeah, I was able to move. Okay. Do you think these are fish eggs? I don't, oh. I don't know. It's it's never confirmed in the story, I mean, I but I'm pretty make... sure this is their nest, yeah. Yeah, so they wouldn't attack it. Oh. So yeah, put out your um, which one distress. Do? Well, I think. no, no, not the distress. What was the? No, because yeah, it was a duplicate signal we had to follow. But now, yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Now I could just wait a minute. Just <laughs> wait a minute. That's oh, it. That's oh, then no, that one's very alive. Never mind. <laughs> for sure, for sure, it's alive. It wouldn't be lit up if it were dead. Dude, it's gonna get your ass. Oh my god, just bounce <laughs> off. <laughs> okay. So not that way. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm safe in here, though? Yeah. Alright, what about this one? Go to that one. Alright. Could just make a mad dash. Yeah. I mean, I don't see any fish over there, so you should probably be okay. All right. Well, was this one getting closer over here on the right? <laughs> Which one? Uh, the one you bumped? Yeah, the one I bumped. Or was it just hanging out there? No, I think it stayed where it was. All right. Should I? Here. Okay, just double check. All right, let's just fucking go. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Oof. God, I hate how they disappear. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's so well designed. <laughs> this is, yeah, like a, uh, I think uh, Bob from Bob Vids talked about how this Dark Bramble does horror better than like most horror games. Mm-hmm. This is promising. It seems important. Let's stop for a second. What have we learned so far? <laughs> Just take a breather. What have we learned so you guys, far? You and Ryan, Katie, Katie and Ryan aren't the one who has, who has to drive through all this shit. Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. No, it gets stressful. It's stressful to, to it's, it is spooky. deal with those guys. I mean, in the end, you know, like, whatever. We just re- we start the loop. Big deal. But mm-hmm. they are spooky. They make a loud noise and chase you. That's scary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, so we did learn how to get past them in that initial part, Ryan. You were right, just thrusting through. So should we do the... Should we do the thing to... Yeah, maybe meditate. Med... Because I don't know how to get back. Unless we follow the distress be- no- signal. You could probably just take out your distress signal and follow the- follow that. I'm sure they're- it'll lead us there. Right now, what do you think? Right? Yeah. Maybe there's like another way. Mm 
Nothing. Hmm. I mean, I feel like this looks very central, so I'm intrigued by it. Go ahead. Just... Yeah, I mean... Go with your adventuring spirit. Let's go. I don't see nothing. Oh, that one disappeared. Okay, that's just a regular little... Error. Why did it say Oh, did I shoot? Because I think I shot it through? Shot it through somewhere. Hmm. Come to that one. Whoa, Ooh, you made Scout it is under me. Ooh, what it's, is it? It's stuck to me! <laughs> oh my... What? Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna say, is that like planned or is that like a just <laughs> stroke of luck? Are you sure it's on you? Maybe that's um, Feldspar's camp. No, it's a scout 10 meters. Yeah, it's literally wow, under him. Wow, yeah, dang. No, that's, that is uh, not programmed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Wow. Damn, trick well, shot. So it's a loop. So are we in a loop? Yeah, this is a loop. A bramble loop? It's a bramble scramble, mm. as one would call it. <laughs> it's a prickle pathway. Prickle well, path. Maybe we go to that one. Nice. Hold on. Mm. Ah, dang it. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Shit. Okay. There. There. <laughs> nope. Let's not do that. Oh, my God. Coming for you. I know. I think it's coming. I think it's coming. It oh, is. Clips I'm not... through the brambles? Oh, no, good. It's not. Oh, I'm my not God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I hate them. They look like um bombs from Final Fantasy. They do. Oh, yeah. Just get out of here. I, I, I... How, Ryan? <laughs> 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 oh, we're safe. <laughs> yeah, we're safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Back from water. He's so mad. Where is he the is other? So mad. Where is the other thing? Because maybe we can make it. A scout showing up on, above us. Okay, it stopped. Huh? He got tired. He did get tired. Uh, is it over there? Let's meditate and uh, start this <laughs> loop again. <laughs> hey, good progress, though. Mm -hmm. You might not have gotten any uh, any ship log updates, but you got a brain log update. Yeah, that I was will, good. I'm I will meditate the in the safety and comfort of my ship, as yes. opposed to getting burned alive by <laughs> stomach acid <laughs> and digested. Oh, the humanity. See, it would have been a twist if you could just go inside the fish and then avoid the big explosion. What if you went inside an anglerfish and it was just a new spot of dark bramble? <laughs> That'd be hard to get to the That'd vessel. be a fun thing to do and <laughs> experience time and time and time again. Oof. All right. So, uh, what are we doing? We gotta throw the thing in the. So we have to get the to the. The, the we have to find the distress beacon then. Mm-hmm. To find the that portion of dark bramble. Mm-hmm. To then find it and then scoot past the the guys. Yep. Okay. The friendos, we call them. They are friendos. They're just I hungry. Mean, they're and just protective of their eggs. They are just nature doing their thing. Speaking of which, a football fish was found, uh, like, recently, and it reminded me of this game. A football fish? That's oh, a... there's the, they're the super freaky ones, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're anglerfishes. 
they are like angler esque. Yeah. Definitely looks like one of these, to be honest. <laughs> Except probably without the weird ass bone tails. Yeah, I think it was just round in the back. I mean, it's oh, usually just car double edge. Yeah, they're like bone tendrils and. Bleh. Yeah, it's weird. Yes, great design, but mm -hmm. I hate them. Great design because I hate them. All right. All right. I hate it's it. Great weekend. job. We have to follow that first. That one. Also, this is a creepy sound, too, so, like, you get this the whole time while you're exploring. Mm -hmm. Yes, at least they aren't spiders, yeah. and I was just thinking that earlier, too, because you could easily oh, have done, like, a web like this in here, and I would have been like, nope, can't play this game anymore. Thank you, Jesse, just tell me what happens. <laughs> <laughs> My intense arachnophobia would have prevented me from finishing this fantastic game. All right, was this the one where we got attacked or something tried to get me? No. Okay. Yeah, like right at the end. So I'd say like go straight for it, like super boost now and then glide. Okay. At the end. I can't just glide. <laughs> yeah, like when we were when we were close to it and we were boosting towards it, we heard the like the anglerfish go cat. <laughs> Like it was oh, going to kill us. Maybe it wasn't here. Maybe it was the other one. But or yes. No. no, it wasn't because we didn't go in at anything. You know, yeah. This is the one where we're like, go. This is where we have to follow the lights. Now we yeah. follow the, the lights. Yeah, I don't think there was ever anything in, in this area where we had to follow lights. No. Attempt, uh, Teledan, attempt one did not succeed per se, but we did uh, kind of learn how to get past them a little bit by not doing anything. <laughs> Boosting a little bit before we get in there, I guess. All right. Excuse me, dead friend. Whoop. <laughs> Maybe easier for me to. Oh, there we yeah. go. Okay. Yeah, we booped the ang uh, angler fish in the snoot, and then with our scout. And then we hid behind some brambles, and then he got tired and swam away. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This was the one I think we got. They hid behind the brambles, and the angler and like, couldn't get to them, and it was so upset, and then it like got tired and stopped. I think it this was cried. the one, Ryan. Yeah. Once we go here. Oh. Oh. This. Yeah. I don't know. Just be careful. <laughs> I've I've boosted, and I, I am coasting now. Although the scout does say below us right now. I do need to get speed before we get in there, I guess. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh! God. Teledan. Huh. Didn't know that would work. Great. Great. <laughs> oh, the the being stuck in brambles. I, I oh, think were... like okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you meant by like our our one way to make this get past these guys. <laughs> Do we know how to leave Bramble yet? They still don't know how to leave. Oh hell no. Besides meditating, no. All right. Well, who would want to leave? <laughs> who would ever want to leave? This, this is place? easily Katie's favorite planet, and it's upsetting. I like Giants <laughs> Deep more. This is just interesting. And it's upsetting. <laughs> I don't want to go to... Well, I don't want to go to Dark Bramble. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to wait I just a I little bit. I don't know how we would ever go that direction without a scout. I think that's the point. Yeah. I think... I bet you that thing is blocking the blocking the light. Mm. It's burying the light. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got it. Keep <laughs> All right. Oof. Fucking eggs. All right. I'm a little nervous here, but should I just gun it? Uh, I don't. I'm yeah. no. already adjusting, so at this point, fuck it. If only I had the sound effect that they made on my soundboard. <laughs> right. <laughs> that would be good. We could do the thing like <laughs> Slow Beef did with aliens and just have the... Random sa random volumed <laughs> effects. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we are. Yeah. Um, I'm, again, a little nervous to accelerate. Oh my God. I don't see anything. Can't let you do I don't see anything. <laughs> Should I go? Yeah, I think you're fine. I don't see any other lights around. This is an important moment. I don't know if they put an anglerfish around here just to kill you at once you found it. But I mean, also they I would. Think so. <laughs> How many games. times does just gun it worked out, worked out for me? Uh, now once. <laughs> Twice. Oh dear. Look at all these skeletons. Oh, there's... Okay. Oh, I no longer need that. Uh... Nah. This is gonna be a somber scene, isn't it? I think you just... Oh. I mean, it, yeah, it's their... It's like... Yeah. Big. There are no anglerfish here. Thank you. That. I was hoping Jesse would say it. <laughs> But that also allows me to just kind of sigh for okay. I, would, I would never tell you something like that. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. I want, I want you to live in fear. I know you do. Wolf just comes out of nowhere and shoots you down. <laughs> Can't let you do that, Star Fox. <laughs> Who the hell is Star Fox? <laughs> well, well, well. Ethan Winters. <laughs> Should do an Ethan Winters count, and okay. how many times people say his full fucking name in that game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit I like to hear. Um, so outside of the the little spot there, maybe I should go back in the ship. I thought there would be like a door or something. Is like it hard to? There was a pod over the uh, next to the mm -hmm. okay exploded area, I guess, if you want to call it that. Damage yeah, I think you're going to be explodies. Where'd my ship go? On oh, the other side. On the other side. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of hard to fly here. I mean, yeah, you got completely no gravity. It's space. It is space. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was my hope. <laughs> All right. Ugh. I do, man. I I'm regretting not getting the PC version, so I can't replace the baby's head with Chris or vice versa. Okay. Ooh, good. I got my friends sent me pictures of that, and I'm like, "What's the difference?" <laughs> Round-headed man-child. So child. before I find anything, um, I mean, there's this cool thing. Interesting. Oop. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> You ate it. <laughs> um, Chris looks just straight up as the design from like five and six, right? Yeah, for okay. the most part. That is the way it should have stayed. I don't know why they went with weird. Was this what you were talking about, Katie? Yeah. I think it's attached to the ship. Yeah, I figured you could probably. That's one of the pods that didn't. Like maybe oh, it didn't I let go or something. Yeah. Although I don't. I really see a way in. Can you get in the back? Oh, I guess not. Never mind. Well, no. Or no. It's impossible. Wow. Well, I'm all out of idea now. <laughs> oh, there's another one. The sun music starts playing. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are, you are still on the clock, but... Yeah. We'll get the blob to kill the pods. <laughs> to kill the pods. <laughs> uh, I don't... 
see anyway in this thing. And you just go in where it was exploded? You go under it? Or was uh, that where you were We at? were just there. Yeah, we're... It oh, okay. closed. Yeah. Where there was a big explosion with the skeletons. No, that was just... Ex explosion with skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> As one yeah, would expect. Oh, look. Oh, look. I'll, like I'll, I'll, hallway, I'll get over there. I'll get over there. I'll get over there. What do you think, like, this glass over here opens or something? Because I don't see... Oh, wait. Okay, we can get in through there. Oh, there you go. You can slide in there. Yeah, I, I did bump one of the skeletons. I'm so sorry. I mean, you it's not way, like they'll, to be they'll know. You're here to help give them some sort of remembrance, I guess. That's right. <laughs> The skeletons You're naturally escape from the ship. Your enthusiasm, yes. Katie, is just, it's really good. Oh, yes, the shit. You know what? Escape from the ship. Let's go and refill my fuel. fuel. Before yeah. we do this, I didn't even think about that. There we go. This dream brought to you by Crystal Light. Drink it, or get a kidney stone. <laughs> Drink it. Drink it, or else. Or perish. Okay. Um, it's the vessel. It's the vessel. What does this do? So I, I actually found this like pretty early in my run. I just like got lucky and got past the anglerfish the first time. Oh. Um yeah, like, so oh, I, better... I didn't fully understand how to how to get past them. I just managed to <laughs> better not and then move. It took me a long time to get past. <laughs> Only back a here, fool yeah. would move. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. You can shoot yourself off into the space by bringing the the core here? Yeah. Great. So we have to get past the anglerfish again. Yeah, sure. Man. Ow. <laughs> Bonk. So they That's already had the Lord warp Brady. technology. Interesting. That's crazy, Jesse, that you just got here just randomly. To any know my clans whose vessels can hear this message. Ah! It's clear. <laughs> <laughs> go back, go back. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming gloaming galaxy we found that black rock suns are fairly stable and life in the star system is comparatively thriving we live in relative safety hmm. if you prefer to continue exploring alone know you will be on your own canna we're making our way to you it's good to hear from you bromi we'll watch for your vessel has anyone heard from neem his clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. This is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Escal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Escal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskal's clan existed and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hisop? It was a very long time ago, but yes. My clan's ancestors searched for Eskal's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Hisop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend! We feared you were gone! <laughs> can't have a party without me! Without Neem! <laughs> <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? Kept you waiting, huh? Uh, <laughs> Neem! Uh, not yet we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. Hmm. 
This is Eskal's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from inside itself. We we are abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or spaceflight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Was there anything under this place? Uh, yeah. I believe Taladan says to... Ooh. Stuff at the bottom of the chamber. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Read this! <You're> right. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, this was Eskal's vessel. This was the one that got lost. I'm recording now. Uh, I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to warp immediately. Oh. Eskel, wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We could send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly, and we can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Anana, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal's source. Everyone, ready to warp. Didn't Dead we fools. Oh, read shit. that before? Oh, shit. I think I missed this. I think I missed this whole thing, Taladan. I don't remember coming down here. Hmm. The sixth location. Yep. Should we go refuel? And yeah, tell, tell it, I, I thought that as well, yeah. What did this do? Hmm. Uh. Nothing. Because that thing's broken? Move the other marble. Oh, there's another marble down here. Should I go refuel? Oh. Nah. Like, w w after we're done moving the marbles, yeah. How do I rotate again? <laughs> How do you rotate your body? Oh, hard, left bumper. Okay. Left bumper. I was trying that. It wasn't... Oh. Uh, Hold and then right. No, let's just do this. Uh, 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 there you go. Ish. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. It's not going to go anywhere because. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, okay. Some witness puzzle. Oh. It's a witness puzzle. No, we have that code, don't we? That we don't understand. Oh, yeah. Yes, Katie, witness. You're absolutely yeah, right. Carb, we played um way back in the day, we all played the witness together. Um Katie, Katie Joe and I, and we played it by um team viewer. We played it sort of by by team viewer, so we were yeah. like, able to draw so, on the screen yeah. to help solve puzzles and stuff. It was fun. Is very good. That's um. Oh shit! I'm at one percent battery. Fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I'm almost at one percent <laughs> fuel. <laughs> yeah, Katie, you're right. We do have that. Uh, I messed up the first letter. That's okay. Yeah, I think the the let's play was in 2016, 2015, maybe. Yeah, it was a few years 2014. ago. 2014. Yeah. Also, hey, uh, for folks that don't know, we're doing a 24-hour marathon on Saturday. Wahoo. For charity. This Saturday. This 24 Saturday. hours for charity. Saturday. 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 <laughs> Let's just see what... Oh, there we go. We're done. We won. Yay. The game's over. <laughs> There's more to explore here. Of course there is. I know there is. Oh, 
Your sideways navigation is silly. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ed says that LP of The Witness was the first video he's seen. Oh, ours. hell yeah. <laughs> That was a uh, glad tropical humor kept you here. Uh huh. You see, Years tropical later. humor lasts a lot more than topical topical humor, Katie. Uh huh. All right, nothing really. Okay, I don't think so we can open any of the doors. It really is just the yeah room. Did you check to see what the code was? No, I didn't. But I didn't. I think it's in our is notes. It just, is it just in a picture? You think? I think so. Okay. I'm pretty I, sure it's something we can go back and reference. I messed up the first one, so I don't know. I wasn't able to move the slab back My guess either. is it's probably going to be like one, two, three, and then if you don't get it, it doesn't Maybe. do anything. You won't be able to go anywhere anyway because we don't have a core, but... Tark, so yours was fr your first one was Trespasser? It was in the green stuff. <laughs> oh, there it is. There we go. Okay. So... Uh, L... Like sideways L, X like ten. left, yeah, like a left arrow. Don't worry about remembering the code. Oh. Says Tar a Teledan. Okay. We'll we'll just go go to work, I guess. Um, let's go to work. Excuse me. How are you so low on fuel already? <laughs> didn't you just refuel? I didn't refuel that time. We turned back to see the code. <laughs> Oh, okay, got it, got it. They should just put a little fuel thing in here. Let me explore. All right. All right. All right, me. There we go. All right, me. Um, This one was this. I messed up the first one, but oh well. This one was this, 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 this. I have to just ever so slightly. There we go. <laughs> Two of the correct. I bet you we put that in when we bring the warp core here. Yeah. Okay. That is, I get it. I get it now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Funk soul brother. <laughs> right about now. All right. I mean, well, we kind of have an objective of the inevitable goal. Hold on. I was getting dunked on about my sideways. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad they give you a bunch of oxygen or plants in mm -hmm. here, so you never run yeah. out of oxygen. But you will run out of time. I guess because it's important. Time, time. Yeah. Yeah, we are yep, just out of time. Should bring one of your skeleton buddies with you. <laughs> Fire probe at it. Oh, they're all broken apart, though, aren't ish. Oh, it goes through them. Not me, though. I didn't mean, like, desecrate their bodies. I Come meant on, more of, like... buddy, we're getting out of here. Bring them on a road. <laughs> they, yeah. they stay together, that's funny. It's <laughs> not all individual pieces. Come on, buddy. We're gonna get you out of here. We're getting out of here together. We're gonna make it. Oh, well. I'm gonna Aww. get the eye of the universe. <laughs> I gave you the option, and you chose not to. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, flew away from that car. Nah, I ain't getting Let's in there. get you to that eye, brother. Oh, that's nice. I forgot I had that. Buckle oh up. yeah, did that update? It's the end of the world. Does this have its own song? What? The vessel. It didn't, no. Did you bring out your musical instrument to check it? Oh, you mean like that? Hey, I figured out how to leave Dark Bramble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You just, you just hit the Wait. bricks. What the hell? Hit the bricks? <laughs> you don't like it? Wait, look behind you. Wait. 
Okay, I thought that was the quantum moon. Whoa, look Ooh. how cool it looks. What's going on there? That's really cool. Is that the quantum moon? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Ryan hit the bricks. <laughs> <laughs> hit the bricks. What the hell is this guy bricks? talking about? Now, what the hell is this guy talking about? If you don't like it, you could just leave. <laughs> I love the gameplay. Love game <laughs> so, okay, I need to talk about this, though. Talk okay. about it. The Nomai came here, and they were lost. He was, th this guy, Eskal, was... But So the other lore, the really long one in the ship, was that like when all the rest of the Nomai came and like they updated their notes of being like, hey, the Eskal, remember the really old legend of the Eskal being lost? Or like, if this was the no. Eskal ship it's, lost, it's a, yeah. why are they... You're right, this is, they, this like, is the Eskal ship lost. Talking about it's just that it was a log that they caught, like a radio yeah. signal that they, yeah, that exactly. ship caught. Yeah, okay. so it's like they're they're in a cave somewhere and can't get out, and they're hearing on the radio people talking about them being like, "It's weird that we haven't seen Ryan in a while." Anyways, all the all the sons are dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and that okay, they kind of like glanced over it, like right at the beginning. They're like, "Uh, yeah, the universe is dying." Uh, that's sad. Anyways, this haven't is seen a sad a game. <laughs> it, I don't like where it's going. going. So, yeah. Because the Nomai, like, they're all over the universe, I would say. Because they've mentioned about, like, going to the gloaming galaxy because it's safe. So, like, they're galaxy traveling people things. Reporting mm -hmm. the original signal. Interesting. Well, it also sounds like there's more of them out there. This group just ended up being stranded here. Like they said, let's... Yeah. The ones and that came to this together. system ended up becoming stranded. Yeah. They never sent out the signal. They never seem to have sent out the signal to say, like, hey, we're here. Yeah, their their outgoing messages were were broken. Look at the stars. Okay. Uh, next time I'm out in space on a late in a loop uh, to look, uh, Teledan says to check out the stars. Um. Well, I feel like we can't really do much else here besides bring the I, core. At this point, at this point. I'm gonna push you guys to do some quantum stuff. That's where the most question marks are now. Yeah, yeah I feel like we need to I was, figure that's where those I was out. leading to. So we've got tower do the lake bed. and lake bed cave. Or lake the bed two cave. Oh wait, it's Ryan's it, turn. Go for it. It is early, so that is an option, Ryan. Yeah. yeah it just sure. sounds boring, but yeah, well, it might have a there. cool rock in it or something. Lake bed cave. <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, I bet it does it. It's probably got the cheese rock. It might have the cheese rock, the stinky cheese might rock. Have it. The, the thing about the, yeah. <laughs> the, the quantum, how it talks about quantum entanglement. Hey, our boy's right there, too. Check it out. What up? Check it out. Send a probe <laughs> on over. Hey, what up? It's your boy. It's your boy. Now Joe's thinking like a gnomai. <laughs> Wait, what's that in reference to? It might have a cool Wait. rock. Oh, I think that was... Was that Joe or was that Ryan? <laughs> and buckled for a second. I've got to slow down. <laughs> Abort autopilot, for God's sake. <laughs> I lost the moon. My hubris. Okay. Where do you think this... It's on the North Pole, it said. Mm-hmm. Where the... Where the fart? <gasps> That's the lake right there. Down there. Okay. You guys have been in there before. Yeah, I just don't feel like we were at the, ever at the bottom bottom. Let's fucking go! Oh. <laughs> it's a little too <laughs> eager there. Oh. Okay. There you go. Alright, we gotta go. Ooh, spelunking. <laughs> Oops, all anglerfish. <laughs> <laughs> Anglerfish are randomly put through this. Alright, hold on. Yeah, whatever. 
I was like, I could shoot things down to see well, where they go. Well, if it's a quantum thing, put out your quantum radio thing. Now this is dead end both sides. Ooh, Wait, the white one. No, well, that's not it. Oh, the white one. That way. Hey, Tard. We've already been here. See? Oh, okay. You've seen the cave shard, but you, ha you haven't gotten through the lake bed cave. Yeah. Yeah. Oh? Hey. Wait, turn around. Turn around. Okay. I'm wondering if this cave is quantum. Oh, I see what you're... I see your point. But we did make it through. Yeah. Um. Oh, I was gonna say, what does our ship log say about the cave? Yeah, but that's it's one of those things I do Ooh. wish I could just check. <laughs> okay, I went to. Okay, let's just nice and easy. There we go. I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> we got it. Uh, uh, okay. That is a lot stickier than I thought, because I was getting caught in it even when I was trying to jump here. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right. There you go. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is just going to push us down, so... Should I go forward, or should I check out over here some more? I think that's it over here. No, I think forward. Yeah. 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 It might have a cool rock. Well, who hasn't picked up a cool rock and been like, wow, I'm putting this in my pocket? <laughs> uh-huh. <gasps> this is quantum. It's the quantum cacti. The hell you say. <laughs> Oops. I don't want it to show up. This can go, though. Anglerfish! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hey! Was that the one you took a picture of? Yeah. I don't think... I took a picture of this hole. No. Right there. Well, whatever. It seems easy enough to... Consider my flashlight. That's a good... Good point. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's easier. Quick, quick. I appreciate the quality of life. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, light. Oh, oxygen. Nice. You can get more oxygen you can top off. Oh, look, it's a graveyard. Oh, I... You didn't fill up, yeah. <laughs> hey, Cave Char, what's up? There you go. I guess part of me thought so it was an automatic encounter refill. Mm, encountering this cave um, before I understood any quantum stuff was such a trip. I was like, <laughs> you, just, you just think you're going crazy. You're just like, you don't know to look for that stuff. So yeah. you're just like, I'm so lost in here. It's it's a really good design. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. I was taking notes, and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Person? <gasps> you can ride the rock. What is... No, oh, is rock. this the lights, you think? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, you quantum, you and your quantum wackiness, I swear. All right. Anglerfish. <laughs> the quantum anglerfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'd almost respect the game a little bit if that happened. <laughs> Just be like, yeah, sure, fuck it. 
Uh, should I get? Let's just see where else we go. If anything looks similar, I know this is. We've been in these caves. Yeah, this is that one. Oh, upside down. Well, whatever. That's good enough. I think there's there's oh, a cave you can right. get to. Yeah, that there's there's no other ways into. I think this is it. Okay. With, um, with new content. That I'm other curious, one. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. That other one for sure we've been to. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Curious, sure, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. <laughs> the wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. <laughs> I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis, if the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I could travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Melloray is here now too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, a being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they move together. Yep. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. <laughs> cool. Well, I mean, it wasn't his fault he vanished. Yeah, <laughs> true. So, how can cool. we use that on the planet? Oh, oh hey, this place. You you've already been using this one because um when you turn the flashlight off when mm -hmm. you're in that room, like that's kind of the rule. Okay. Like, so you can't do anything though about like the one right outside the door that's keeping you from leaving? I don't think so. Okay. Is this the Maybe this was the other one. Have we been in here? I think it's the way out. Should I feel I like we've it? been here, yeah. Yeah. Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing ever since. I'm pretty sure you've seen this. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel, I feel like this was the first cave we came into when we were looking mm -hmm. for caves. Or not Side caves, note. but... Always oh, being covered by the picture. Aww. Lousy. <laughs> Little butt. I'll go up. There's that rack. A rack. So we learned, uh, well, okay. Well, I, mean, I didn't really, I feel like, yeah, I do feel like we've also known that one for a bit, but still. We had it put in two words. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Demonstrated by example. Yeah, this is this is content you didn't need. Mm -hmm. But it filled in you. the blank. Filled in the blank. That's right. There we go. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what were the other ones? <laughs> Tower of Quantum oh, Knowledge. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Oh, God. Everybody's favorite. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Oh, that one that was, like, impossible to get to. And then the sixth location. Well, we yeah. got to it, but we couldn't... Like, from there, the bridge to the top of the tower is broken. Right. Is that because of time? Time, 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 time. Is that because we didn't get there soon enough, though? Or is it because it was already broken to begin with? Uh, yeah, it's always broken. Oh, okay. But we need to go to Brittle Hollow if we want to get there. Okay. Is that what we want to do? Sure. I don't know whose turn it is, so. Yeah. I think it's a I mean, quantum thing. We're, 
Yeah, yeah we've only got like only one that's up to you because yeah. nothing is. Before <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> We have driven. We have driven a Nomai shuttle. Yeah, we didn't get Hell very far with it. I could crash a Nomai shuttle. Yeah. Oh yeah, we. For sure. I mean, that's how you Definitely do it. Definitely did do that. All right. So wait, we're kind of. I think that's. Is this by the tower? Yeah. Oh, where? <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> oh, which one's a, which. That's a gravity launcher. Is the the tower quantum Go knowledge in. is probably something you can set a waypoint for. Oh, yeah. Knowledge. Nope. Guess not. I can do the quantum shard. That was, like, right above it, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so much for... Matching I'd velocity. Say go into the planet and fly around on the inside. Because in the, the tower is one of those, like the hang. Everything in here is hanging. Like, yeah. I'll, from the I'll just offer. I'll just offer like a piece of piece of advice. So you can find the quantum shard with your signal scope, and then it's like just below that. Like they they connect, right? Yeah, the tower shard. Yeah, so find oh, there's the tower. Side. See, you can see it. Yeah. Well, let's go see this. There's oh, the tower. Ow. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm good. It's like Star Tours or one of those. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> that's that's what I'm going for. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how anyone could play this in VR just. Yeah, oh my that God. would. I think especially, you're not getting close to it. I think it's on the right or left of you. Especially, like, I couldn't do it. I would be like, I would, man, <laughs> be a bad time. All right, I think this is the correct. Plane, yeah. There we go. Right there. There it is. I haven't been able to use this to travel to another world just yet. I know I lost it, but that's the nice thing about these things is they, you wacky, you wacky rock, you. <laughs> Come back here, you y'all, y'all goof. Yep. <laughs> Take a picture. Do we want so, to take a picture? You don't need to be here. It's just that moon. from here you can like walk down to it. I'm pretty sure. I see what you're saying. I was thinking about using that rock to get somewhere, but I feel walk like it just stays on the. This just stays on the planet, doesn't it? Bye. Well, I don't think it gets dark enough for you to actually change the whole mm -hmm. environment. Surface integrity is low. Why would yeah, they give me that? About right. Why would they give me that mechanic if it wasn't supposed to blow it up somehow? <laughs> Think about it. What Let's surface jump. integrity are they talking about? Planet. Think of what what the um what the thing landed on. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. Matter of fact, I may be even further down. I may be even super saying. Yeah, probably. No. Super yeah. saying, guys. <laughs> Oop. I'll just get back uh, in the elevator. I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> <I'm> just like. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, is there something quantum See, here? This is when we need to get past. This yeah. is the puzzle. No. I'm just curious. It's the, just the knowledge of the quantum. Can't you walk on that wall? 
It can, but then like, it's the stuck. Point. Yeah. Yeah, but it's broken. Well, oh, God. wait for it to fall, and then. Yeah, the surface integrity is nothing, though, Ryan. We, we should just we could just blow it up. Oh, now it's at 16. 16. Look at wait, that. Wait See? for it to get. Wait for it to end. You just need one more. Just one more. And then everything will fall apart. We Maybe go the whole to... top comes down. We and you're like standing the in the then. only safe spot right now. No, stay down here. Okay. I think it's a good spot to stay here. All right. Because what if that, that whole top part like collapses or something? Your ship and your scout and you are all lined up. Wow. Yep. Yeah. It's like we're meant to be, man. You get teleported. Vroom. Vroom. <laughs> hey, if you were teleported here, I just kind of threw that together. Sorry about that. There's no way out of here. <laughs> Yeah, you teleport Wait to a, a room minute. that's... Welcome to the tower. <laughs> this is all we got. Skeletons. <laughs> skeletons. <laughs> Just a bunch of people randomly teleported. I thought maybe shaking the this thing did it, but... Nah. Just jump. No, nah, I think it's the moon and its comets that are, like, breaking it apart. So Zero. it's, like, there next you go. moon's rotation. See? Now what? We did it. This whole thing oh is God. falling. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> hey, ah, oh no. Turn Wait, around. trees detected. Tree? How do we get trees? There's the, there's the tower. Go to the oh tower. Go there. Oh, the interloper. The death. Not now, interloper. We're busy. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, there's the tower. I gotta get to the tower. Oh, there, there goes the ship. ship. <laughs> well, this go. worked. Uh, it kind of did what we thought it was going to yeah, do. Yeah, we're upside down. No. I mean, and there it we didn't go. at all, but it accomplished our goal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like that we were able to get a, a breath of air. <laughs> After getting sucked through, because the because the trees oh, yeah. passed us by just close enough. All right. Um, I don't see any any trinkets. Congratulations, you finally made it to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Yay! Oh, okay. There's a. There's a thing. Hey. Look at all the knowledge we'll get. Ryan, books, uh, books, books. Jesse, there's still the hay, but you have to go to the paid stuff. It's not paid, it's free. <laughs> so you can just do hay anytime you want. Nice. Pay to hey. learn. Anybody could say hay. Hey. hey. Oh, cool. Okay. Hey. I don't know that this, that's not one of these. No. It's gotta be somewhere, though. It's gotta <laughs> be somewhere. Yeah, Taladan said this part took me so long to figure out until I was wandering through the white hole station late in the loop and it all clicked. <laughs> now that we're here, it seems very obvious, but yeah, you don't really think about that. You're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. You are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. Now! <laughs> We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to the star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. Whoa. Oh, is that that's Quantum, okay.
please. Welcome, uh, Solanum. Oh, no. <laughs> All I want to is to find that perfect girl I know exists. <laughs> She's sweet and shy and my age and likes all oh, the age. things I do. Perhaps I even do. is on this <laughs> site itself. The girl who <laughs> won't secretly think I'm a loser. The girl I can cuddle <laughs> with even if only possible online. And spend <laughs> nights talking to and laughing and sharing happiness. <laughs> Someone who can reciprocate the love I put in, the girl who I can make feel safe and secure unconditionally and can fill this gaping, empty void in my heart. Please, just let me find this person. I'll change everything about me if that's what it takes, please. I just can't take the loneliness anymore. Thanks for the... Five dollars, Ryan. <laughs> it's not very quantum, my dude. <laughs> it was only three. Oh, it was only three. That's right. And it goes to pause. So, hell yeah, good cause. Wait, we've, come back. The only paid, Connery. the only paid sound bites we've had happened during Outer Wilds. <laughs> we <laughs> had the the Mario <laughs> screaming there, and then. <laughs> All right, Bells says. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant Steep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, Yay. the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the Moon's North Pole. Okay. Oh my god, I'm really? curious on your journey. <laughs> okay. That was key. Yeah. I didn't I wasn't really reading, but I wasn't listening, Ooh, look, but I assume that was good. Up. Yeah, I know I saw. I'm just kidding. I was, I was mm -hmm. Oh, that was one hundred percent key. That's like oh okay. Yeah, no, I was just I'm just being a it's butt. More, yeah. It's cool. exactly what we needed to know. Cool. I wasn't listening. What do Did we the music start? No, no, not, not, not music. death music. That's okay. Just playing some nice music, yeah. Some what did I? I missed it. What oh. did? We did you learn? actually miss it, Katie? <laughs> yeah, because I was trying to. I wanted to play the hay sound, and it won't let me. <laughs> and oh, so really? it says. Priority. It's been says. It says. It's been sound alerts has been played by Ryan, and it says please wait, please wait zero seconds, and I don't know why it won't change. Oh, weird. <laughs> Check the plaque on the bottom. Refresh or um, something. Yeah, I think I might just have to refresh. Turn the whole around, thing. yeah, right back there. Over here. Check and see if those are. Are there any plates that you can? I didn't see any plates. Yeah, oh, okay. No, we didn't find any plates. I was looking. Unless they get lost <laughs> in the. There were. I thought there were plates, like, well, on there. Teledian told us to look at the stars, late well, you... game or late cycle. Oh yeah. Well, um, that plate reader might be, um, I think there's a lone plate on the white hole station. So maybe you're meant to just like bring that one here. There we go. But I think you've already read that one before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, cool. Well, this was, this was great. We, oh, is that okay. class? I say go out into space. And, oh, that's class. Yeah. Go out into space and just look at the stars until we die or. So I missed. So what was the thing? So we need to be on the tower. Needs to be on the North Pole. Oh. Uh, the Quantum Tower. For what? Uh, to get to the sixth location. Uh, okay, to get okay. out. Yeah, to get to the secret. Fly away from the this debris. The quantum moon. Fly like just into the depths of space, and just look at the stars. Look down. There. What's that? Yeah, what's that yellow one? To the right. Oh, it faded. Oh, what's there are a bunch on? of suns exploding, huh? Are the stars? I mean, stars are suns. Oh my god. It's like everything dying. 
Did it say this galaxy is dying, right? Mm-hmm. Not just the solar system. The universe is dying. Yeah, yeah. I think all of Your signal are... scope has a zoom, yeah. Let's find one. Yeah, yeah I think right. all of them are... I've been seeing that kind of happen here and there. I just never. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like as you yeah. as you play at the start, you can see that there's so many stars, and at the end of the run, there's like very few oh. stars in the sky left. Yeah. Like it's dark. Yeah, it's like everything's dying. Yeah, and Teledan also points out. So Chert is one of the very few characters that actually like reacts to the world dying because at the end of the run they start to notice that all the planets are <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just meditating <laughs> um church starts to notice because they're the astronomer and they start to notice that all the planets are dying and so they start freaking out and then your son starts dying and they just are like well i guess i guess we just arrived in the universe too late and now like the universe is dying around us mm -hmm. Yes, bittersweet is a very good way like to put this game. This last... game is supremely sad if you think about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we are at about three hours. And we do have two they... very key pieces of knowledge that we can take yeah. into the next uh, the next session. Check yeah. check the ship log. Let's sure. look at that ship yeah, log. Yeah. Let's kind of savor it. I really, really like this game, even though I've, uh... Um, Look at how many stars there are. Quite a bit. Mm. Wow. That's a cool awesome. little detail that you'll never notice until mm -hmm. you do. <laughs> until you do. Hey. So are there any pieces of information that you guys are still kind of like thinking about not sure about or do you feel like you've kind of put the story together for the most part um i feel like I'll, I'll, yeah. it's one of those games that i think I, I need to see the ending and then just kind of let it simmer for a little bit in my brain because of how i process information typically <laughs> yeah um but yeah kind of it's something also i feel like i'm gonna just so. actually go back and rewatch my playthrough What I get is that the Nomai wanted to find the eye of the universe real bad because it's older than the universe itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It led them here, but it led only like one Nomai vessel here. And the rest of the Nomai are still out in the universe somewhere. But this was like 200,000 years ago. And now we're the race that evolved. Mm -hmm. And the universe is dying. And because it's dying, our sun is dying. But because the sun died, it activated the Nomai's Ash Twin project. So we keep looping in time at the end of the universe. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The, and the all the Nomai, mm -hmm. the Nomai here died. Yeah. Which is really sad. That's still the yeah. saddest part about this stream for me was that they all just, they were. Like, just getting there, they just realized their sun station blow up the sun project failed. Um, which is okay, because, I mean, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. um, and then they go to check out a comet, and the comet, as soon as it gets closer to the gravitational pull of the sun or whatever, it bursts and it kills everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The um, Their plan to blow up the sun, though, wouldn't have meant anything to you because blowing up the sun is what causes the time loop. So they blow up the sun to to basically go back in time to before the sun was blown up, right? Mm -hmm. So um they would just mm -hmm. keep doing that. Yeah, and then they wouldn't until, like Yeah. They could they could stop they the loop at any time. And then they yeah. don't blow up the sun. They, exactly, yeah, yeah. Cool. Which, Which they really did cool. on the <laughs> nine millionth launch. 
mm-hmm. they found the eye, but they were already dead by then. Because the launches didn't start until just now, this 22-minute mm-hmm. cycle. Um, and it started the launch because the sun started dying. That's mm-hmm. what triggered it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, okay. the only other thing I'll, I'll add, um, you were talking about the Nomai are obsessed with the eye of the universe. And it's specifically these Nomai. So all the other Nomai vessels are just exploring other stuff in space. But this vessel like found the signal of the eye of the universe. And that's what led them here. And in leading them here, they were cut off from everybody else. But these are the only ones that are searching for the eye of the universe. Um, so, uh, and I feel like even if the universe wasn't dying, the the bramble. I feel like the bramble is an invasive species that is like destroying mm-hmm. shit anyway. It is, yeah. Uh, um, so next next time, uh, we have um, should probably do that first. Yeah. Quantum I would say moon so. stuff, uh, especially because it seems—I don't want to say easy, but it seems like okay. We know what to do. We it's know the what, last question. Mark we know map. what to do to get to yeah. explore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, that's the last question mark on your map too. I think it is. Yep. And, and then the last thing with something I, to explore in is there's more, more to explore here. Explore there. So which means the, the only other place I will point you guys towards is at the Ash Twin Project. There is another. Um, there's an alternate ending you can get there. Oh, okay. Um, so that that could be something to play around in. Sure. But to do this, we need we need to go to the Ash Twin Project. We need to hide it next to the teleporter. Go inside, grab the the thing, leave, get to the vessel, slam it in there. Which means we need to get past the what do you call it again? The anglerfish, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anglers. Um, and then, uh, and then see see where the vessel goes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Input the code, I think, maybe? And then, yeah, then get out. Yeah. So you've already had the reveal L-X-N. that if you die with the core, then you just get an alternate you just get an alternate ending right yeah but when i played this i didn't know that was the case so i was like holy shit i have to take this core past the anglerfish which again i had been to the vessel without understanding how to get past the anglerfish Mm -hmm. and so i just spent so much time like practicing the run to be like (laughs) i gotta i gotta fucking do it like i gotta do it in one go Mm -hmm. it was really intense um yeah that's cool. That's a that's a cool way to like have your to fit in a kind of end game challenge, I guess you could say, within the system that's already done, and to kind of like fit it all together. It, it the 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 way that this game is crafted is insane. So good. It's insane. It's just such a well made mm-hmm. game. Um, and I can't. And I feel like this game kind of came out of nowhere, like a quantum moon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um yeah that's gonna do it for tonight uh katie do you have any thoughts oh um no okay i feel <laughs> like a lot of no I, mean, I feel like everyone pretty much explained yeah okay most of it so. i was also reading uh gruntfather in chat thank you mm-hmm. thank you uh for it uh letting us know that this was a great wilding outer um <laughs> We'll be back uh, Thursday with some Resident Evil Village as we begin that. Uh, just, just FYI. Also, for next Tuesday's stream, it's probably good that this might that it might not be a three-hour stream because I will also still be recovering from uh, all that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember mm-hmm. that it really does like affect me for like the whole week after. So, um, that being said, I still plan on doing it though. So. Um, <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we can see if we can raid somebody. Yeah, great progress today. Um, Ryan coming in with the with the with yeah. the solutions already ready to go. I'm I'm really glad I have two brains helping me figure things out because 
and one brain to and one brain to, to bind us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but we'll go. We'll go raid uh, Sharon with uh, Metroid Prime Echoes. Who, by the way, is joining me Saturday night after Mario Party to play some uh, Super wow. Mario Three D World, which will be fun. So, well, uh, can't wait to wild some matters. I'm excited to see the end of this game. I'm also excited for. I'm also very excited for Saturday. <laughs> so, if you don't know, we're doing a 24 hour stream for charity Saturday. Um. 24 hours? 24 hours, that's right, Jesse. Um, for Paw Chicago, a no-kill shelter uh, helping in uh, downtown Chicago, helping uh, with smart uh, things, methods, in uh, controlling the pet population. So, it's, they're, good, they're good people. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll send you over to base camp. It is a lot of hours. It's more than your normal... That is eight times more than the stream. God. <laughs> <Ugh>. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you later. Good night. Good night.